Section 6 of The Silence, What It Is, How to Use It. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by L.T. The Silence, What It Is, How to Use It, by David Van Bush. Section 6. Thought to hold as a basis for this silence, for success. I have faith and conviction in my ultimate success. I believe the scripture, My ways are not your ways, saith the Lord, neither are my thoughts your thoughts. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts. I understand by this scripture that the thoughts of the infinite God are far above the understanding of finite me, that God's ways are higher than my ways. God moves in a mysterious way his wonders to perform. I also have faith and conviction in my ultimate success because I am part of the infinite spirit, and in the infinite spirit there can be no failure. I am harmonious, complete, and successful in spirit, in God. I may not see my success today, or I may feel as though I have accomplished little, but I know that all of my efforts and energies in the past, present, and future are working together for my good. Therefore, I shall hold the thought that my success has already been achieved. I am success. I have success now and forever. Therefore, I think only success. I talk only success. I believe only in success. I am demonstrating success, and I know that success is mine. The needed lessons I am having now, have had in the past and may require in the future, are but necessary stepping stones to my greater success. The apparent delay of my greater success means that I am now demonstrating more success than I could otherwise have. Dreams that I have dreamed, visions that I have visualized, and the goal that I have mapped out are all a part of my ultimate greater success. I have that now. I am successful now. As Moses went into the land of Midian and spent forty years of his life as a shepherd in the wilderness, apparently with no future before him, which, however, was the great schooling necessary for his greater triumphant success in the future. So I may be, in my land of Midian, apparently only a sheep herder, but in reality getting the necessary training for my greater and ultimate success. Therefore, I now rejoice in every experience I have, giving thanks for every apparent setback and for every seeming block of my purposes and aspirations. I believe that my past experiences, as well as present happenings, are for my benefit, and that I could not have been the great success I am and shall be, had not the discouragements of yesterday, the perplexities of today, and the drawbacks of tomorrow come into my life. I realize that I need to go into the land of Midian, that it is as necessary for me as it was for Moses to spend a few years in the wilderness of life's experience. I am happy to know that I am in such company as that of the great leader of his people, and rejoice in the thought that the Lord has called me to spend my time in the land of Midian, getting the necessary training for the greater things the Lord has in store for me. There is no place in the world where clouds do not gather and storms do not rage, but when the storms abate and the skies clear, then do we appreciate more fully the glories and beauties of God, the universe and its natural laws, and infinite love. However, I know by experience in the land of Midian, where clouds hover low and where storms try the soul and body, that the dawn of a new day shall make life all the sweeter for me and mine. Moses could not have enjoyed leading his people into the promised land had he not been in the land of Midian. If he had stayed forever in the court of Pharaoh, with its attendant luxuries, life would have taken on a dull, monotonous hue, and his experiences would have seemed drab, wearisome, and pale. I am glad for the privilege accorded me to be in the land of Midian for a short time. I know that, as did Moses, I shall enjoy my promised land all the more when my greater success shall have been well worked out by the hand of divinity. Faith and conviction in my ultimate greater success is stronger today than ever. I hold such a strong thought and such a deep and courageous faith in the workings of God's plan that I know I now have that which has been intended for me, and nothing can take from me that which the Lord hath prepared for my success, health, and happiness. I know, too, that I shall learn daily to enjoy, appreciate, and make better use of the success I now possess, that I shall unfold day by day into greater opportunities for more influence, power, friendship, charity, love, 
comradeship, and service. I know that my present success is but a part of the greater success which the Lord has waiting for me, just around the corner. Therefore, I shall offer up prayers of thanksgiving and gratitude. I shall work harder, being more particular in the preparation for my greater work than I have been in the past, never doubting but that every moment spent in this greater preparation will bring added interests and greater success in the future. Even as Moses did not doubt the wisdom of the Lord for a greater future when in the land of Midian for forty years, so shall I not doubt his ways today. I claim, with a joyful heart and an attitude of thanksgiving, that my life could not have been as great in the future had I been denied my present experience. I know that greater things are in store for me because God's thoughts are greater than my thoughts, because he is giving me that training now in my land of Midian, which I most need. I trust the guiding spirit of infinite love to lead me at the right time into my life's promised land. The success today in my land of Midian is attracting unto me the greater influence and power of the court of Pharaoh and in my leadership as I lead others into that promised land which the Lord has prepared for me and mine. I smile, I sing, I rejoice, and offer thanksgiving and gratitude for my success now and forever. Surely I believe more and more, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord, and all things are now working together for my good. Therefore I have faith and conviction in my ultimate success, in my greater success, in my greatest success. End of section 6